Hey Torvi. Look how big you're getting, girl. Torvi, sit. Torvi. Woof. No sound came out. Try it again. Woof. Oh. Sit. Lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Torvi. Stay. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Torvi's growing up. She's getting a lot bigger now. What a wonderful dog she's been. It's been a few weeks since I had a video out. Um, I had surgery. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. My arm's all up in a sling. My AC joint repaired. Piece of bone removed. Rotator cuff done up. Pretty invasive for the most part. Um, long recovery. So that's going to put a damper on a lot of our adventures. We're going to sit down. I'm going to get a cup of tea going there now and we'll have a quick chat about it. Let's go find a spot to have a cup of tea. So we're going to go down this abandoned trail. As you can tell, it was an ATV trail that stopped getting used. So it's all overgrown. But what you'll see is look over here. <clears throat> Look at all this spruce and evergreens, right? And then here you have all kinds of alders and dogwood. Basically, an endless supply of rabbit feed all growing in along these edges, nice and thick. And on both sides, we get the perfect type of cover that they use, that rabbits like to use. <clears throat> so, if we start looking down on the ground, You'll notice rabbit droppings starting to accumulate in this area all over the trail. Huh, another one there. I can't point at them because I've only got one hand. This one's not doing so good. But you will not believe, I came down here the other day with the wife, you will not believe the amount of rabbit droppings and rabbit activity you'll see down here. I've never in my life seen so much in one spot. Let's go check it out. I know you can't really tell there, but any place now, if we start looking down, you're just going to see rabbit droppings everywhere. It is, I've never seen anything like it. And look, Torby, you stay close. You're not allowed to harass them. Come here. Torvi, come. She's still in training, so I got the electric leash on her right now. So, But I don't even have to use it. Smart dog, but look. She's noticing too. Now look at the increase of rabbit droppings everywhere. So this is where they would have been feeding out here and living in there. So... Let's just push through here a little bit. We'll go inside and check it out inside there. I think you got Corby. Lead the way, girl. Oh my goodness gracious. Look. Be very careful with his arms, eh? Doing anything. Now look. Look in here. Yeah, I know it's been a real crappy video so far. Look, let's just walk right here. Go down. As you get closer, you start to notice this is all rabbit droppings. Look, anywhere I go, that's what the ground's like. Just absolutely coated. Never seen anything like it. For those of you who do rabbit hunt and rabbit catch and, or hare or whatever, have you guys ever seen anything like this before? Like I said, look, get closer, closer, you start to realize. I want to head down the trail a little farther, Torvi. Hey girl, let's go down a little farther. Let's go find another spot, a little more open. Now that rabbit got it made because this is also in a no hunting, no trapping zone. This is not far from a residential area. I'm actually only, only minutes from my house from a walk away, so, because uh, I can't go far because of 
we get these black ants here that's all i've ever known them as is black ants uh, we have red ants and black ants the red ants bite the black ants they don't bother you look i have i'm disrupting their nest i got my hand in there i mean it's early season too so he's on my finger there now though i've never been bitten by one all right found this old game trail here <laughs> Dog's loving it. What you doing? Get the zoomies. What you doing? What you doing, girl? Oh, she's a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Mwah. You good? Get away. Oh. I got lots of cool adventures uh, planned for, for uh, later on in the year. The bear hunt that was supposed to happen this spring, I don't know. I don't know how I can go about doing it right now. Uh, hunting a bear is, uh, you know, it's, it's strenuous work. I'm down to one arm and I can't put any extra pressure on my body while this is healing because I could do damage too. So I got to make the mature, responsible decisions here and um, say that currently I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because the time frames of healing and everything else involved. I'll be putting out shorts once in a while. I'll be putting out little videos and clips and keep my community tab updated here and there. Uh, and just to, just to engage with you guys as much as I can. Water's boiled there now. <sighs> By far my favorite tea right now is this stuff. It is so good. So there's changes coming, positive changes um, in due time. I gotta take time away from the channel for a little bit. Like I said, I'll, I'll post little things here and there if I can <laughs> on the uh, on the community page and uh, if I got some shorts or something. But also, I'm right-handed. This is my right arm. I can't even like, oh, you know how frustrating it's gonna be just to edit this video together with my left hand. I tell you, you don't realize how uncoordinated you are with your non-dominant hand until you use the bathroom and have to use this hand. There's some training involved. Oh, this tea is like, it's got ginger in it and nutmeg or something like that, but anyways, it's, man, it's so good. It's like spicy. It's, it's like liquid cinnamon hearts, so you're either going to love it or hate it. Dorvi Paul, you good girl. Show everyone now how, how big you're getting. Look, your big girl teeth coming down. Oh, she's a good girl. You good girl. You good girl. Woof. Woof. You gotta make noise. Woof. Good girl. Stay. Come here. <laughs> good girl. You're a good girl. There we go. Come on, girl. So, I'm gonna head out there now. But I will say before I go, I am compelled to say this because I've had a lot of time to sit and think and reflect on who I am and looking at the world outside and the state that it's in and, and the, the, the just craziness that's happening. And I will say with pride that I am a believer in Yahweh the God of the Israelites, the God of the world who came to earth as Christ Jesus died on the cross and defeated death. 
and I have a lot ahead of me, but I'm changing into the man I want to be by following him. I'm proud of it, and I'm ashamed. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you guys when I see you guys, once I'm all healed up, but the future looks bright. Love you guys. Take care, and see you next time.